Hi, this is Two Grumpy People. Um, today we don't have a long video. We just wanted to say really quickly that uh, our hearts go out to the family of the uh, young two-year-old that was uh, recently taken by the uh, alligator at Disney uh, at the Grand Floridian. And uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there who are making some pretty hateful comments about the parents, um, saying that they were negligent and, and things of that nature. And I, I would just like to ask everyone to hold off on those kind of comments for a while. Imagine, if you will, if you were the one who had lost a child. It doesn't matter the circumstances. It's pretty horrific. And uh, this is not a case where the child was okay and the animal suffered. Um, this child is gone. So I just wanted to let everyone know that uh, we're thinking about them. Now along those lines, uh, uh, not for those parents, but hopefully for, for folks in the future, uh, we did want to kind of put out a little bit of, a, of an informational, uh, safety kind of information. A lot of people, I think, are not really aware that there are alligators in Disney World. They've always been there. This is not a new phenomenon. Obviously, the place was built on mostly swampland. Of course, the, the alligators were there when the place was built. There are hundreds of alligators on Disney property. All of the water uh, are the large bodies of water, like um, Seven Seas Lagoon and uh, uh, Old Man River. Uh, all of those have alligators in them. This, is, uh, this has been known since the beginning of the park. But I think a lot of people that come there aren't really aware of that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what your take is on that, but. Um, I think most people who come there think of Disney as being a very, very safe place, and generally it is. Um, this is only the second alligator attack ever on Disney property, and the previous one, of course, did not result in a death. Uh, it was a, an, an eight-year-old child who uh, was able to get away when, the, when their older sister intervened. Um, so he ended up with some cuts and, and bruises and things like that. Um, obviously needed medical care, but not nearly as severe as it could have been. Some people are saying that, well, Disney is is wrong to allow these alligators on their property. And I don't think they realize that it's, it's actually impossible to keep the alligators out. Uh, it is Florida. That is their natural habitat. They've been there much longer than people have been walking the earth. <laughs> and... Um, um, alligators are found in Florida, like in people's backyards, in their swimming pools, in drainage ditches, in, in like farm irrigation ditches. Anywhere there's water, even a little bit, and even like a sprinkler in a front yard, you'll find alligators because they're drawn to the water, obviously. Yeah. And um, you know, they're most likely to attack uh, someone like a child, like a two-year-old, like this little boy was, because that's the, the size of their natural prey. Um, the other thing is I think people don't realize how fast alligators are. Uh, there's a lot of really ignorant talk going on on the internet right now and some of the comments of some of the things that I've been looking at um, where people are saying, oh, well, they obviously were negligent. They, they weren't watching their children. You know, how can an alligator snatch a child away if you're paying attention? Well, because they're like any other predator, they're incredibly fast. People think that they're slow because that's what you see of videos of them. They're just sort of laying around or floating. But the reality is um, alligators are as fast as any other predator. No. In, in fact, they can even move rather fast on land. People think that they crawl along on their bellies very slowly, but when they get up to speed, they can go 40 miles an hour for very short distance. But um, even grown men have had a hard time outracing them. And even running zigzag doesn't really work that well because they're very flexible. So this ideal that somehow if, if the parents had just been more attentive, there's no way the alligator could have got them, it's ridiculous. If you're near the water and there's an alligator there, an alligator can strike. It's just, it doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. Yes. The other thing is, um, people are asking about, well, why is Disney not doing something to try to get, if they know the alligators are there, why aren't they trying to get rid of them? They actually do. When they grow over, they're, they're monitored, and when any of them grow over four feet long, um, Disney picks them up and relocates them to uh, a part of their property that's, that's a natural preserve where there are no people. Uh, obviously, the gators can come back. They don't usually, but they can. 
uh, if they've established a hunting ground, they may want to return to that hunting ground. Um, and, and, and obviously they can grow. I mean, if they're two feet this year, a couple of years, they're going to be four feet and then six feet. So the one that attacked this child was said to have been somewhere between um, four and seven feet long. So there's not even a, a, a definite size. <laughs> obviously the people who saw it, I mean, that wasn't the thing that was on their mind was figuring out how long it was. And I'm sure when you see an alligator attacking, it seems even bigger than it is. So people will say, oh, it was 12 feet long, it was 14 feet long. Some of the reports were early on. It was 14 feet long alligator. No, it wasn't. Alligators do grow that long, but it's very unlikely that you'll have one that large in a Disney property because they do constantly monitor around where, wherever people are on their property. Uh, and they work with the fish and, and wildlife folks and the national parks folks and people like that. There are um, alligator hunters in the area who will get called in to help uh, hunt the alligator and, and move it. Now this one, this particular alligator, they will, they are trying to, to catch it and kill it. Um, it's not to get rid of a dangerous alligator, because all alligators are dangerous and all alligators will hunt people. Uh, it's to see if they can recover the remains of the child. So a lot of people are angry because they've already killed, I think they said four alligators. That was last night, maybe there's been more since then. Uh, so people are kind of angry while you know they're punishing the alligators for the child getting lost. I don't think it's a punishment. <laughs> They're not intending to punish them, obviously, but there's only so much you, you can do. I mean, your choice is between not trying to recover the child and, and recovering it. They're obviously only hunting the alligators that are four feet and larger, and they're not endangered, okay? It is legal to hunt alligators in Florida. It's not legal to, to go on widespread hunts and try to wipe them out. <laughs> That's not legal, but it is legal to hunt them and kill them, and, uh, and so what they're doing isn't isn't going to threaten the alligator population or anything like that. These are dangerous predators. They're not they're not like kitty cats or something like that. Um, and it's not like polar bears or something like that where there's only a few of them. Yeah, they're only hunting ones that are um, posing a, a threat to humans currently. Yeah. I mean obviously if it wasn't in a human habitated area they wouldn't be catching it and killing it right now because they're looking specifically for that one in the Seven Seas Lagoon. Um, yeah, they're not hunting alligators in other hmm. parts of the Disney park. Um, so, and you got to think about that. If they've already found four large alligators in the Seven Seas Lagoon <laughs> while looking for this one particular one, there are a lot of alligators in, them, in those parks. And you're just not usually aware of it. There have been cases where people have been riding on the on the um, on the railroad on the. Um, Magic Kingdom Railroad, and they've seen alligators sunning themselves out there by the road or near the tracks. Um, there, there have been cases where people were. Um, there was one guy who was boating out on the. Is it the Seven Seas Lagoon, the very front one at the Magic Kingdom? Yes. That's the Seven Seas. Uh, and he saw one there uh, out on Discovery Island. They've been spotted. Um, so, uh, pretty much everywhere that they can get. So. I think you just have to be aware when you're in Florida, you're in Florida. <laughs> just because you're on Disney property doesn't mean that all of a sudden the wild aspect of being in Florida has just gone away. Yeah. And along with that, there are also other dangerous um, wildlife in Florida, including um, pythons, which didn't, aren't native to Florida. Pythons got, got introduced by visitors, by humans, but they've grown and, uh, and are... Um, breeding in the wild and so actually some of them get large enough to take on some of the smaller alligators so they're actually threatening the alligator population so obviously if a python can kill an alligator it can hurt a person um, they also have native uh, uh, snake species that are very very dangerous in the waters in Florida uh, well throughout the south so things like cotton mouths and things like that yep. water moccasins uh, are rather common so I think the lesson here is that you should do sort of like the locals do, and that is if you are near a body of water, look, always look first. Um, generally with the alligator, all you're going to see is the very top of their head and their eyes. You might see their snout, you might not. Uh, the only time you're going to see the, the whole length of the alligator is when they're trying to, 
to get sun. They're sunning themselves. So obviously at night, you're not really going to see that. And they are dark, so they're hard to see in the darkness. So anytime you're near a body of water and you can't see the bottom, stay away from the water. Um, stay back, well back, uh, you know, like four feet at least. So that way, if one starts to charge, you at least have some room to move and, yeah. and take advantage of the fact that you have longer legs. Uh, never let your children wade in natural bodies of water in Florida. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm sure that there are some natural bodies that are considered safe, but being that you're a visitor, I wouldn't take the chance. Uh, <laughs> you don't know it, the area well enough. Uh, I personally wouldn't wade in it at all <laughs> myself. Uh, I want to be in a boat, a big boat preferably. A small boat's probably okay if it has a motor. <laughs> you want to be able to outrun it, outmaneuver it, get to shore quickly and get away from it. That, that's really the only way to take on an alligator. So, uh, I, don't, I don't really have any other advice than that. Just If you can't see the bottom of a body of water, stay away. Just because there isn't a sign there telling you there's an alligator in that water doesn't mean that it's perfectly safe. And if, a, if, if it says no swimming, no waiting also. <laughs> just go ahead and just go ahead and make that assumption, okay? Just, if it says no swimming, it means no swimming, and that means usually also no waiting. Yeah. Just don't be in it. Yeah, just stay out of it. Um, there's lots of, they have lots of lakes and lagoons and things on Disney property. Most of them are just intended for looking at uh, or boating on. Some of them are for fishing in, but they, they have a lot that have um, natural beaches that you can get at. Right, so there's, that's, I mean, and that's, that's where the the line gets fuzzy. Right, and that's what this this was. It was at the Grand Floridian on their on their man-made lagoon beach, the white sand beach. It's perfectly fine and safe to play on the beach. Stay out of the water. Yeah, that's basically what it's. <laughs> That's pretty much what Disney has said, you know, play on the beach, you want to get in the water, that's why they have so many pools at, at all the Disney properties. Uh, in this case, they were having like a, a movie night on the beach, kind of thing. So lots of families there. And I can completely understand why this family sort of got lulled into feeling like, oh, it's perfectly safe, there's, a, you know, they're having a movie night. We're on this beautiful sandy beach. Most beaches you can go in the water. Yeah, most beaches it's safe to at least wade. Um, the the sign did say no swimming, but it did not say warning there are alligators. So I, I think it's I think it's perfectly understandable. They weren't from Florida; they were from Indiana. So it's probably perfectly understandable that they didn't they weren't really cognizant of the level of danger. I mean, you think, well, I have to make sure they don't drown, so I have to stay here with them. But you're not thinking. I have to make sure they don't get eaten by an alligator. So uh, I, I guess that's just if this if this death serves any good purpose at all, it's as a warning to other people. And so with that, I think um, I would just say uh, again, we're very we're very we're keeping it in our hearts. We, we're very uh, sad for these for this family who lost a child. We hope it doesn't happen again anytime soon. Uh, we don't want you to be afraid of traveling to Disney World because it is still very safe. This is only the second attack in its entire history uh, and certainly the first death. Uh, if you're careful, if you're cognizant of the rules and you stay aware of your surroundings like any place, it is a very, very safe place. It's a great deal of fun. There are lots of wonderful activities. You can still enjoy the beach if you drive to the actual beach. Um, it, you can still enjoy the pools, you can still enjoy boating, yep. you can still enjoy movie night on the beach. Um, and so I don't want anyone to be scared away from going to Disney and I would really hope that no one condemns these parents and uh, just have a, have a great time at Disney. And come back and check with us again when we're hopefully talking about something a lot nicer.